Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Keegan Edwards with Liquid Retailer and today we're just going to make a short video reviewing the basic overview of how to use the Liquid delivery app that's available on Lightspeed. Um, if you're unfamiliar with, with this app but you are looking to do delivery, you can find it by going to Lightspeed's website, selecting e-commerce, selecting apps, and in the App Store, we are labeled under the shipping section. So I select shipping and you'll see liquid delivery is the uh, first app here that's available for, for doing local delivery and uh, in-store pickup and making that easy. So if you click that, click through to that, you'll see there's a nice landing page here uh, that talks about the app, our app. If you are a brick and mortar retail store, who's looking to do local delivery, uh, want to offer your customer a way to select in-store pickup and pay for their order online, our app makes it really easy to do that um, and to customize your checkout process so that based on the zip code of where somebody lives, you can uh, charge them certain delivery rates that make sense for your business. So from here, you log into your account, your Lightspeed account, and you can select to uh, you can select to download the app then it all gets billed through your Lightspeed account and uh, the app gets constructed right there through your Lightspeed account. So just to give a brief demo, maybe you've come through that piece already and you're looking to get started. There is a wizard that walks you through the app and if you've already done that, if you want to add some more functionality, then your site should look something like this if you walk through the wizard. But Basically, the first step that you want to take is you want to set up your location. So you go in here and you would want to set up the location for your physical store. So you can go through, I'm just going to do an example here. Um, we'll call it Norwich Pet Store and I'll put in my address. Norwich, New York, offer in store pickup. Yep. Pickup offset. So what does this mean? we offer in-store pickup at our location, we might need some time to get things ready. So what we probably don't want to do is allow somebody to order pickup while they're sitting in our parking lot and walk right into the store and expect the order to be ready. So you probably want to give at least 15 minutes of offset time to allow your customer to, or allow you to receive the order for in-store pickup and get the, everything packaged and ready to go. You may need more than that. You may need even up to four hours or even a whole day. And if you do, because perhaps your business, you're using big items, big products that you need to get prepared and ready to go for pickup, then you can use the pickup time offset uh, to give you enough time to have it make sense for your business. If you want to have it display uh, different text than in-store pickup, you can override that here. Um, if you wanted to have a different description, you can override that. Otherwise, it just has the default uh, in-store pickup uh, text name and description. So I'm going to save this as my location. So I've got a location set up here. And you'll see there's also already multiple locations uh, set up in this system. The next thing you'll want to do is add a delivery zone. Um, and the delivery zones that are set up here will just walk kind of through. Adding a new delivery zone, you can kind of name your delivery zone. So let's say I want to deliver in Norwich, New York, and that's zip code 13815. And let's say I want to charge $5 for delivering within my direct market area. Again, if I want to change the display or description text, I can do that. Otherwise, I just save it. And now I have a delivery zone where if somebody types in 13815, they'll have the option for local delivery for 5 bucks. Great, so that's set up. Now if I go to delivery methods, perhaps I want to change and use a delivery method that's different. And I can name that so that the person can select the type of method they want. So let's just say uh, bicycle. Save that. And now I've got a method where somebody can choose to have it delivered by bicycle or courier. Maybe that makes sense for your business. Maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe you want to use that in newer innovative ways. It's a method for you to be able to, to name or allow your customer to select the exact type of method. If I go to delivery schedules, this is where you can control uh, different options associated with the timing that somebody needs something. So if it's great, it's, it's a delivery zone, it's $5. 
then you're all set with a $5 rate and you may not need the delivery schedule. But if you want to offer somebody something more, like a next day delivery and charge $50 or same day delivery even, you can create those rates here. And what would happen is your customer would have the option to just pay normal delivery of $5, um, which may just get delivered on Fridays, and then select something like same day or next day delivery and pay an upcharge to do so. So they'd be presented with multiple options when they went to set, uh, check out of your store. Now the other option we have here is to create delivery rules. So this is a great section for doing things like free delivery over $50, which is quite common. Um, so let's say for me, I want to do free delivery over $49. Name this free delivery. Um, the property would be based on the total order uh, price, but you could also say based on where it's being delivered. This might be available, free delivery. It could be based on the type of way things are being delivered or it could be based on the schedule. So same day, next day, any of those. But I'm gonna just say order total. And if the order total is greater than $49, then the new rate would be zero. And they would get free delivery. So I'm gonna save that. You see free delivery. And now what I'm going to do is go to my delivery test tool. And I'm going to put in uh, that zip code for Norwich, New York is if I'm checking out there and say that I'm ordering $15 worth. I'm going to preview my options and we'll see that I have a local delivery for $5 here is an option. And we can see that I have in-store pickup for $0 that would be an option in my store. And then I can pick the uh, uh, no other options. Those are my two options for the Norwich store. These again, all of these options are just things from past demos. The other thing I can do is, is go in here and change the price. So let's say I went in here and I put in uh, $50 and I previewed my options. Well, now we'll see that I actually have a new option, local delivery, Norwich, free delivery over $50. Free delivery, have your order delivered to 13815. So we'll see $0 because I ordered $50. My rule was anything over 49 that I would receive free delivery. So see that rule over here that we created took effect. I ordered something over $50, $49. I received free delivery as an option. So anything that you're trying to create and before you push everything live, you can test your delivery tool settings right here in, in delivery test tool. So thanks very much uh, for joining this quick video. If you have any questions about any specifics or you'd like to do an in-person demo and get some answers, feel free to give us a call. Um, our number is 954-361-5284. Thank you very much for watching today's video on the Liquid Delivery app for Lightspeed, Ecom, and Omnichannel.